So we've been continuing on with poems and some of them are collaborative and some of them we wrote ourselves. So the one Mark's about to read, we were at the top of the garden and looking at our house in the forest and Mark was coming up with the words and I was helping him with the ideas and so let's go Mark. There's a forest coming out of the roof. The leaves come from branches touching sky above the chimney where blackbirds bring offerings to make a home amid ivy wrapping around the slates as the trunks stand tall through the loft, reaching back down through the ceiling, carrying messages from the future, bark etched against an antique bed, where squirrels look for nuts to store in bookcases with faded pages, as insects go to work along stairs with berries, offering food to birds that will fly in and out of the dusty windows, some nesting on a sofa with cushions of bushes where flowers pattern and the roots of the forest dangle in anticipation, the nerves attached to our kitchen where we write and paint with the fungus, transmitting messages through the earth, which we hope can grow, unaware of the mould and decay which has held us together, protecting us from time as the forest takes back its place. So there's that one, which is good. And I'll do lump now. Yeah. If we can find the right one. Yeah, there he is. Needs to be renamed. But there you go. That's right. it. I wrote this one about an hold it? hour ago. No, it's all right. Lump. 48 years ago, I had a lump of clay. I could have fashioned it into bowl, butterfly, flower. Instead, I gave lump my life. Lump moulded me. Pulled, pushed, stretched, punched, rolled out, poked with sharp things. As I became small, bruised, unheard, Lump grew. One day, Lump had a great idea. He crawled onto my face. He made a smile to hide the pain and laughed and laughed and laughed. We're getting old, old Lump and I. We've grown up together. Who knew he was my best friend right from the start? One day I'll take him off my face, smile back. And fade away. Now, do you want to do one of yours? Oh, I don't think I've got anything at the moment that's. Do you want to do I? Right. Uh, should we just finish on I? We'll finish on a, I. Because that's a. Where is I? That's a doozy. Do I get it? We don't say doozy. We're no. not American. No, because we are poets. You 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 said something like that the other day as well. Well, I, I've been known you to said, say many things. Oh, no, it was Ben that said it, not you. How? Ben said Zowie, and I was oh, surprised. I've merged with Ben, have I? <laughs> merged with Ben. It's been a merger. All right. Um, it's been a merger. I, <laughs> uh, oh, is it on big documents? It's on the big document, or maybe we should read it from the email. Would that be would that be acceptable for you, or is yeah, that too? it's fine. All right. So Mark went out last night and I didn't want to waste the evening, but I was really, I struggle to have quiet time, especially when it's by myself. I always like to have some noise on. I struggle with silence. So in order to do this, I had to have silence because I've got a little app that I talk into to save my hands. And every time I was trying to do it with Ben on, it, it kept typing out what Ben was saying. So then that inspired me. So this, that was literally what inspired me to do this because I was struggling to sit with the silence. So it's called I. Since when did silence become the enemy? It's not silence that's the enemy. It's what's in the silence. It's not the creatures that we have hidden in silence. The creatures with our voices, our faces, our lives, our regret, regrets, our shame. Their playground. That's the real enemy. A place that allows fears to grow legs and legless faces. It's not the place where I dwells. It's the place that allows I to believe there is an I to dwell. A forever beckoning mirror, tempting I to look at I only to find the mirror cast no reflection. The mirror promised so much. There was nothing there. How can nothing be our enemy? So will we now be destined 
to live amongst the creatures of our own making in the dark playground with the broken swings, I tries tentatively to step onto the roundabout. I calls it the infinity roundabout. It has no name in the playground. Creatures jump on, jump off, run to the mirror, still no reflection. Jump on, jump off, still no reflection. The game never ends. As I looks at itself, it sees its hands slowly disappearing. It sees legs fading into the dark floor of the playground. It sees arms, but not for long. It sees chest, it sees knees. Without the reflecting reflection of the mirror, I can't see its face. It presumes it has a face. Just as, just as a legless creature presumes it has a face, and the faceless legs presume they have a face. I now presumes the creatures are the reflection of I itself. Disembodied, living a half-life on the infinity roundabout, searching for itself only to find itself outside of reflection, outside of the mirror's reflection, running around playing at discovering itself without reflecting upon itself. No, the enemy in the silence is that I finds itself standing next to the infinite void, the ultimate truth of nothingness, and knows for sure that if it gets too close, it will surely disappear and become part of the disappointing non-reflection it was searching for. But if I is brave enough to visit the silent playground, smile at the creatures, disengage from the infinity roundabout, it starts to remember it is already part of the vast nothingness and can cast its own reflection, a sharp pinhole of light which mends the swings and guides the disembodied creatures back to I. So I did that. He went out to the pub. You were, you were productive and creative. Uh, I had a drink. And you got drunk. Yeah, you said you were going to have a couple. I didn't get drunk. Lies. So that is free. and That's free freebies for you because we're going to write a book and have pictures and that, aren't we? Yep. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs that. And just write me in the face. Um, yes. More to come. Starting of a beautiful project. Yeah. It's about yeah. pretty time. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. You should have seen the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> or not. We've had three or four of them, be. haven't we? Yeah. Let's There's... put you, Mill. Yeah. They were funnier, but... Yeah. But not much poetry. No. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, bye. <laughs>